Okay, now we're here to discuss or learn more about uh, using Excel help. Excel's built-in help system is really substantial and it's available in a lots of different ways. You simply can slide over a button. Uh, so here's a button here, here on the home tab. What does that do? Okay, fill color, color the background of cells. And this is true of any button we slide over. If there happens to be um, a keystroke short shortcuts, such as this one. Here's one for underline, we see it there, control U. And at times going back to this fill color, this fill color icon, I'm interested in this, how about tell me more? And this activates a dialog box on the right side of the screen. Um, as one you can see here, okay, um, present some information. This might be what I need. This might be sufficient, or I might type something different up here on this box right here, or something related to get even more even information. So let's say this meets my needs. So I'll just close that. That's certainly one way. And keep in mind, as you slide over some buttons, you get a graphic and sometimes a longer description. So there's at least one here on the data tab here that's quite long. Ah, it really gives you some insight into the various uh, buttons. So here's one for removing duplicates, text to columns. So one for text to columns. And it uh, so that's really handy, you know? You can also click an area above the icons. Yeah, you see the search box up here. So just click in there and type in create chart. So as I'm typing this, it senses I'm ready to do that in this case. Create chart. OK, looks good. We see create names as well. And that will vary to depending on where you are in the worksheet. So that's handy. Hmm? And what else do we see in here? There's another tab in the ribbon called Help. And this is newly redesigned and there are lots of features in here. Clicking Help here activates this box right here on the right screen. So um, you can also get there, just click the function um, function key F1. So maybe I'm interested in formatting data. I click that. And if one of these is likely to fit my needs, I click in here. It's completely self-explanatory. I think you could pretty much get the idea as to how you can um, help get help here. So there's an option here as well for feedback. I'm going to shortly close this one for feedback. I click that. And here you can communicate really to Microsoft, indicating that you like a certain feature or not really, or you probably have a suggestion. And there's a broad community of um, users. If you click through here, uh, it can take you to some of the various options of um, in terms of um, reaching out to the other to the community of users of of Microsoft products. And this might lead you to an external site this Excel block here and um, could get you could get more information in there where you can provide or even get more information on some of the features in Excel that you're really interested in. And, the, and here's one called uh, show training. And eventually this would lead you into potentially one of the videos uh, like the one you're watching right now. And what you'll see out here, for example, if I click gross, and this yet presents another list of topics um, that you can choose from, um, giving us more information on the detailed level. So remember, you can press the function key F1 at any time, and you can go to the Help tab in the ribbon at any time as well. So clicking some of these buttons, or you could just simply click into the panel just above Help and tell them what you want to look for and type in the feature that you're interested in. So that's going to be really helpful with, for you as you work with Excel.